In this problem, we are given a diagram with some dimensions. How should we approach this problem? Step 1. Understand the problem. Note the given information and identify the geometrical shapes. The four corners of a rectangular piece of cardboard ABCD are cut out, leaving behind the shaded portion as shown. You are given the lengths of some of its sides as well as the sides that are equal in length. From the given diagram, we note that the four corners are quadrants and their curved lengths are equal in size because they have the same radius. We are going to find the area of the shaded figure first, followed by the parameter of the shaded figure. Now that we are clear about our approach to the problem, let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. Extract as much information as possible from the given diagram and information. We are going to start off by finding the area of the shaded part. Rearranging parts of the figure to form simple geometrical shapes one is familiar with is a good method one can use to organize given information. Let's construct a square at the corner of the quadrant EAM. We have an unshaded part in the square. Let's call it Area P. Construct a square at the quadrant FBG. We have a shaded part in the square. Let's call it Area Q. Notice that Area P is equal to Area Q. Now we have an unshaded square of 7 cm at the corner of FBG. Next, construct a square at the corner of the quadrant HCJ. We have an unshaded part in the square. Let's call it Area R. Now construct a square at the corner of the quadrant LDK. We have a shaded part in the square. Let's call it Area S. Notice that Area R is equal to Area S. Now we have an unshaded square of 7 cm at the corner of LDK. Let's make some observations on the rearranged figure. To find the area of the shaded figure, we can take the area of this rectangle ABCD and subtract from it the area of this square as well as the area of this square. Now that we have an idea on how to find the area of the shaded figure, let's proceed to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Based on the plan device, work out the solution. We have the dimensions of the squares to find their areas, but not the dimensions of rectangle ABCD to find its area. The length of rectangle ABCD is 7 cm plus 16 cm plus 7 cm. So AB is equal to 7 plus 16 plus 7. This is equal to 30 cm. The breadth of rectangle ABCD is 7 cm plus 8 cm plus 7 cm. So AD is equal to 7 plus 8 plus 7. This is equal to 22 cm. Now that we have the necessary dimensions, we can find the area of the shaded figure. So for the area of the rectangle, it will be 30 times 22. We are to subtract from it the area of two 7 cm squares. Evaluate. And we have an area of 562 square centimeters. Is this answer correct? Let's find out in the final step. Step 4. Check back. Try to use a different method to solve the problem and then see if the answers match. In the given figure, mark out the unshaded parts of the rectangle and name them as areas P 
Q, R, and S. The area of the shared figure is equal to the area of the rectangle minus the sum of the areas of P, Q, R, and S. Let's find the area of the rectangle first. The length of the rectangle is 30 centimeters and the breadth is 22 centimeters. The area of the rectangle is 30 times 22. This is equal to 660 square centimeters. Area P is equal to area R. Area P is a quadrant where the radius is 7 centimeters. So the area of area P is 1 quarter times of 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. This is equal to 38.5 square centimeters. Area Q is equal to area S. The area of area Q is the difference between the area of a square of 7 centimeters and the area of the quadrant. The area of the square is 7 times 7, while the area of the quadrant is 38.5 square centimeters. Evaluate and you have 10.5 square centimeters. So the area of the shared figure is 660 minus twice of 38.5 minus twice of 10.5. This gives us an area of 562 square centimeters. This matches the answer we have found earlier. So our answer for the area of the shared figure is correct. We can now write the statement. The area of the shared figure is 562 square centimeters. Let us now look at the next step we are going to take to find the parameter of the shaded figure. Step 2. Devise a plan. The parameter of the shaded figure is the total length of all the straight lines and the curved lengths of the equal quadrants at the four corners of the figure. Let's make some observations. What shape do we get when we put the curved lengths of the quadrants at the four corners of the rectangle together? We get a full circle of radius 7 cm. So to find the parameter of the shader figure, we can take the circumference of a circle with a radius of 7 cm plus the lengths of the straight lines found on the outline of the figure. Now that we have an idea on how to find the parameter of the shader figure, let's proceed to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Let's find the circumference of the circle formed first. Its radius is 7 cm, and pi is to be taken as 22 over 7. Circumference of the circle formed is equal to 2 times of 22 over 7 times 7. This is equal to 44 centimeters. So we're going to find the lengths of the unknown straight lines on the outline of the figure. Kj is equal to EF. So Kj is also 16 centimeters. ML is equal to GH. So ML is also 8 centimeters. Now that we have the necessary dimensions, we can find the parameter of the shaded figure. Parameter of the shaded figure is equal to the sum of 44, 16, 8, 16, and 8. Let's write them down. The sum is 92 centimeters. Is this answer correct? Let's find out in the final step. Step 4. Check back. Let us use a different method to find the parameter of the shader figure. The curved lengths in the figure are the curved lengths of four equal quadrants. So the curved length of four quadrants is equal to four times the curved length of one quadrant. Evaluate and the answer is 44 centimeters. 
Now let's find the sum of all the lengths on the outline of the shader figure. Evaluate and the answer is 92 centimeters. This matches the answer we have found earlier. So our answer for the parameter of the shader figure is correct. We can now write the statement. The parameter of the shader figure is 92 centimeters. Brilliant! We have solved the problem.